and welcome to the first PvP segment. Now first off, if you're not a fan of PvP in Star Trek Online, please don't go anywhere. I'm sure I can teach you something interesting about the game that you may not otherwise find out. Before I talk about PvP, there's a few things I'd like to explain. To start with, I'd like to say my aim here is to help new players learn about the game. Also, to help the PvP community. As PvP is quite a large topic, I thought it would be great to start with a free-to-play ship guide series. The way this will work is I will take a free-to-play cruiser, escort and science vessel and set them up with a PvP build, then do a step-by-step -step guide on how to successfully fly each ship in PvP. But for the rest of this episode, we're going to arrange our user interface, then we are going to set up a spacebar keybind, and finally show you where to go for help with PvP. When I talk about arranging your user interface, it's mostly down to personal preference. Let's look at how to arrange mine. This is sort of what the UI looks like by default when you like level up and don't change anything. So let's look at how we can optimize this for PvP. So to rearrange your user interface, you can do it in a number of ways. You can press the F12 key and this takes you into the rearranging menu. Or you can press escape and rearrange HUD. Same thing. Okay, the first thing we want to look at is, is anything overlapping? Right, down here you can see that uh, I've got some bridge officers and then this other tray is on top of them. I think this happens to lots of people when they level up, so let's fix this. F12, and then we can actually drag this one across, and then they're all in a straight line. Next up, there's not too much space here, I can't fit too many abilities on my bar. So there's a button here that you may not have seen before, it's got four options. Number two adds an extra tray, and number three adds another extra tray, so now we've got enough space for all our abilities. Now I'm going to suggest rearranging a few things, so let's press F12 again, let's try and move this down a bit, maybe across a little bit, and try to center everything. I'm going to suggest moving this up to here, okay, and I'll move this to here, this to here, I will move this over here, yeah. Okay, so the reason I've done this is I want these here buffs to be very clear. I don't want them to be running into anything else on my screen, and I want my power levels down here where I see them, and these weapons aren't that important. Next up, if I select one of my teammates, you see this is the target indicator and the target of target indicator and if you see they're very close together like if I put a lot of buffs on my teammate here what will actually happen is there's a bit of an overlap you can't see what everything that's on my teammate so we'll move these down I suggest moving them down about to here because in PvP, you try and keep uh, as much as you can towards the middle of the screen. So same with your t same with your team status window. You want to move it towards the center of the screen, so you can get your mouse to it a little easier. Uh, move the focus target down as well, so it looks a little more like that. And one last tip for setting up your interface. Uh, you may notice that your scoreboard button is actually missing here. Um, this happened with the, the launch of the new expansion. Uh, they sort of like hid your scoreboard. It's actually right here. You just need to drag it out again. And there we go. Button's back. Maybe we'll move it up. There we go. Okay, so now everything's more centralized. I don't have to move my mouse as much. And we've got lots of space to push all our buttons. Next up, look at how to set up a custom power level. 
if we click here, you get option free. This lets you save custom power levels. The minimum power level is 15 now. So let's change the defense power level. Let's let's change the level of engine power. So we'll drag this down, lock that, drag this down, lock that. There you go, you got more engine power. We'll save that. And that's how you set up a custom power level. You will you may need that in the coming episodes. Okay, let's look at setting up your own keybinds for a spacebar. Now, keybinds are common to many MMOs. They allow you to reprogram your keys to do multiple in-game commands. So, let's set up a spacebar to distribute your shields, fire all your weapons, hit a few abilities, and maybe a few other things. To start with, we want to find your live folder. This is the live folder. It's normally found at this location on your computer. What we're going to do here is make a new text document. So right click, new text document, and call it binds, B-I-N-D-S. And then there we go, and open it up. Okay, once we've opened our text document, let's uh, copy the uh, keybind code in. Now you can find this under the show notes in the keybind section. Just copy this entire thing in from start to finish. It has to all be in one line, full code. Now let's read what it says. So it starts with space, so it means we're going to reprogram our space bar. And it says tray x by tray. That means it's going to be hitting one of your ability trays. And we've got a few of them, so we're hitting a few ability trays. And then next thing across is gen send message fire all. This means it's going to fire all your weapons. Next is par exec distribute shields. It's going to distribute your shields. And then these here are overrides for the HUD. I'll show you what they do shortly. So what we can do now is file and save this file and close it. To finish this off we actually have to load our keybind onto our character. So to do this you go to your chat box, you type in forward slash bind and at this point you should see some options pop up. Let's go for bind underscore load underscore file. Then you want to space and type in the name of the file which is uh, binds.txt and then we're going to press enter and nothing should have happened but let's see what happens when we press spacebar. Okay, here we go. Okay, what happened? First of all, our shields distributed. We don't have a target right now, but it did tell the game to fire all weapons. And what's happened here? Well, we've resized our buffs, haven't we? We've resized our buffs in a number of places. If we target our teammate again, you can see that now the buffs up here are enlarged as well. Also your spacebar will now activate a few of your abilities on a certain tray. They are on tray 4. It's the first six of these here buttons. So let's press P and get some abilities in here. Let's try fire will. Put that in. Distribute in for fun. Get some power to shields. Part of weapons and okay. So when I press space bar now, these will activate, but they don't all activate at once. You have to push your space bar multiple times to get them all to go off. And some of these abilities have global cooldowns. So the idea of this in PvP is well, we can now put tray four up here so it's hidden and the buttons will still get hit. In PvP now, you can just keep pressing spacebar, your weapons will keep firing, your shields will keep distributing, your buffs will always be enlarged, and you get and you'll be cycling all your like part of weapons, part of shields, fired will, whatever buffs you want on your tray for. Now to wrap up this episode, we're going to have a look at where you can get some help with PvP. 
to start with we're going to have a look at the organized PvP channel. So we want to look at chat settings. Go down here, chat settings, channels. Uh, we want to type organize PvP and hit join. Now the organized PvP channel is a place where a lot of the PvPers in the game hang out. So if you've got any questions, ask them. I'm sure they can help you. Although sometimes they like to mess about. We'll see. <laughs> Another thing I'd like to suggest is the PvP bootcamp. This is something that's run by a number of people in the PvP community and they run uh, classes on how to become a better PvPer. They teach everything. They sit down with you and go through your needs. They've done a really good job so far. I'm going to show you where to start off with them. Okay, let's go to the Star Trek forums. The bootcamp guys have their own place in the PvP section. Let's go into the PvP. Down a bit. And here is the PvP bootcamp section. And let's see. Okay, so here's their next class. PvP bootcamp session is on the 15th of June. So what will I be teaching? Okay, so we're, they're starting off their second session on the 15th of June. And yeah, you just have to fill in this registration form and show up and I guess they'll teach you how to PvP. So go check that out. Okay, that's all I want to talk about for PvP this week. Uh, next week I'll be starting my free-to-play cruiser guide. Uh, we'll be looking at this build here with an engineer. And now it's time to skip over to the community segment. See you there. And welcome to the community segment, and this is where we involve you, the SDO community. Yeah, each week we will ask a community question, and we would love your feedback. Now, some of these will cover certain Star Trek Online topics, and we will look at any responses on the next episode. We are also considering running some in-game events that you can be a part of at some point. For our first community question, we want to ask you what you think of the show. Like, what did we get right? What content would you like us to cover? You can leave comments under this video in the comments section or email us at uh, lafamiliafleet at gmail.com. Before we warp out this week, there is one thing you can help us with. This is our first episode, so if you could help spread the word that there is a new Stowe podcast, that would be great. I'm telling you, spam subspace people. If you could tell everyone on your friends list, or if you're in a fleet, send out a fleet mail about Make It Stow. That would really help support us a lot. Until next time, Stow players. Make it Stow!